breathing. After two and a half months of continuous operation, the Interagency Task Force, in company with the Garden Emergency Branch, around 2 p.m. today, we went to the Santa Cruz area, where we traversed about two and a half miles into some bushes, where we stumbled upon what you're seeing here today. It took dedication, motivation from the team that you're looking at to the rear of us. It speaks to the efforts. It speaks to the type of police officers that we have here today and who is willing to do the job and to take the risk that these things provide, the risk involved in policing now more than ever. But we have to put aside all of that because we know that we have a people to protect and serve. Yeah? I hand you over to the Commissioner of Police. Today is another historic day for the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. As again, and I will say we celebrate, we celebrate a major, a major fine, a major recovery. And I want to highlight to the national community the type of weapons and the type of ammunition found today. We have AR-15s, M16, Mini Uzis. We have 50 caliber rifles, 12 gauge shotguns. And what is important to note that we have 7.62 ammunition, 5.56 ammunition, and worst of all, we have 6.5 Primo armor piercing ammunition. I want to take this opportunity to advise the criminal elements in this country that the police will not be daunted and we will not be intimidated by any threats. The attack on our public officials will not be tolerated and we will always fight back. Again, the, the seizure this evening, tonight, is based on our strategic plan the Violent Crime Reduction Plan, where we are focusing on the retrieval of illegal firearms and ammunition. I have told the national community that the police service is capable of securing our islands. And I hope that this display would build confidence in the public support for the police and confidence that we are indeed capable of doing what we are mandated to do. And I want to take this opportunity also to publicly commend the hardworking officers of the Interagency Task Force, the Guard and Emergency Branch, and the other task forces around. They continue to work, they continue to put their lives at risk. And you, you would notice, based on the ammunition recovered, these are armor-piercing ammunition. So the, we want the citizens to understand why we continue to call for their support We need your support. We continue. If you see something, say something. That is how and that will contribute to our achieving our mandates. 